in 3A for that title, the West Feliciana Saints. And uh, this, actually no contest though, in all black, the Panthers of Glen Oaks getting some offense going early. Tyrone Lewis breaks away down the right sideline, 35 yards. He's got a first down at the 28 yard line of the Saints. A few plays later, still first period. And Ted White, quarterback for Glen Oaks, looking for somebody to throw to, finds his receiver in the clear for the touchdown. Myron Jackson, the point after failed. It was six to nothing. The Panthers, though, had really established themselves, and they continue to do that. This time, Ted White looking for Tim Brown, same name as a former Notre Dame star. 26-yard gain down to the West Feliciana 23. Score still uh, still six to nothing, but the Panthers are looking for more. White and Brown continue their passing combination. Great pattern, nice catch as he bumps his way into the end zone for the score. 12 to nothing. They went for two. It was no good, but it didn't matter. 42 to nothing. Glen Oaks uh, lights up the scoreboard, and their defense did the job also tonight as they win by a big 42. Oh boy, Glen Oaks living up to that number two ranking in the state. Let's show you some other scores. We mentioned Catholic. Catholic earlier in the night. They traveled west. They pull out the win, 22-17 over Lagrange. Also Covington, a 35-7 winner over Denham Springs. East Ascension and Brother Martin. Uh, East Ascension wins that one, 40 to 20, doubling the score on Brother Martin tonight. Central 34 and Ponchatoula 15, a final score. And also McKinley and Northeast. Northeast does a 26 zip tonight. Coaching debut for Doug Williams out of Northeast High School in McKinley. We mentioned at the top of the program, Redemptress last week, a big winner over Catholic and Jamboree action. Tonight, the real deal. When we come back, we've got Redemptress highlights against Chapel Traft and a lot more, so don't go away. It high after last week's Jamboree's Redemptorist. We mentioned that he had the victory yesterday, uh, last week rather, as we fade over here a little bit. Here we are holding uh, steady. The Wolves shut out Catholic in the second half of their Jamboree tonight. They were going to try to do the same against Chapel Trafton. Let's go out to Redemptorist and check out what happened in this one uh, this evening. And uh, the Chapel Trafton cheerleaders are very fired up before this game. They were going to show that they had reason to be. Redemptorist with the ball, Kevin Kimbrell, intercepted by Chapel Trafton's Eric Shirley, or Shirky, I think, and uh, returned and Chapel with the ball. David Abel straight up the middle, five yards for the touchdown. He scores at number 43, and they celebrate a little bit later. Wolves with the ball. Tito Rosario uh, gets the gain right here. Not a huge gain, but does pick up some yardage for Redemptors. They're trying to make something happen. This time, Kimbrell and Danny De La Torre try to hook up and it's a 30 yard completion for the touchdown so Redemptorist gets on the board there a little bit later Redemptorist on defense and Chapel Trafton with the ball Justin Miller 20 yard gain for him he keeps on fighting and fighting breaking the tackles has the big gainer for him and holding penalty is going to call that one back but Chapel proved that they had more firepower tonight as another good run there they rip it off final score they beat Redemptorist 34 to 6. Let's run you down some other scores here. Bruley shuts out Live Oak in their opener 20 zip. It was Point Capiche Central coming back to beat Parkview Baptist 28 to 20. Also Riverside, a big winner over Ascension Catholic 34 to, uh, 34 to 6. Also Jackson beating St. Helena Central 14 to 6. False River 27, Gate on nothing. Berwick beating Catholic at Point Capiche 34 to nothing. And North Iberville and East Iberville hook up in a rivalry, 24-12. North wins that one. White Castle, 25-6 over Livonia. At the top of the program, we showed you the Broadmoor highlights from Lee. One of the teams looking to give Broadmoor a run for their money in District 7-4A is Tara. The Trojans returned seven defensive starters and a 1,000-yard passer in Brad Spangler. Tonight, they took on the speedy Bel Air Bengals out at Olympia Field. We'll take you out to Olympia. And the uh, Bel Air Brigade early on doing some cheering. This is the Bel Air team meeting. Coach Sizemore giving his squad some instructions. A fourth down here in the second quarter. Terror up, seven zip. Bel Air with the punt, but they rough the kicker. They get another chance and they would take advantage as quarterback Adrian Stewart fakes the pass and he's gonna go. And he's gonna go until he gets down to the three, finally gets dragged down. This is right before halftime. Bel Air would call another timeout. You better believe he's excited. They're talking strategy. Coach in there trying to figure out what they're going to do. He says, Stewart, why don't you throw the tight end? Jonathan Stagg for three yards. Get the touchdown. It would be 7-6. Terra at this point as the Terra fans are excited. 
I told you they were excited. A scary moment here for Terra on the ensuing on kickoff. Number 51, Ronald Brown was injured, had to be wheeled off. We called to Caden Andrews. No word yet on his injury. We hope he is okay. We will show you the final score from Olympia tonight as Terra scores one more and they hold off the Bengals. Terra with the win, 14 to 6. Andre. Well, Curly Hallman's Tigers have taken off for College Station, Texas, and tomorrow's game with AM, the Aggies. So the center of attention on LSU's practice fields, the U High game tonight with Port Berry. Fort Berry coming in and something of a maybe a mystery team. U High has been so outstanding for so many years and the Cubs generally when they play a game they expect they're going to win it. Oakey Woods one of the reasons why the Cubs have been so successful. Number 40 takes the handoff and he goes a long way down the left side. Nice first down and a 20 yard gain for Oakey Woods and the Cubs trying to make something happen. Oakey Woods. Going to get the handoff again eventually, and yes, he does wind up with the ball, weaves his way inside. Nice run again down to the 15-yard line of Port Berry. A couple of plays later, Cubs still driving, a ball control drive. Cubs trying to make something happen. They pass it into the end zone. It is no, taken away by Port Berry, so that stops the Cubs drive, and Port Berry takes over. And that was going to be a major turning point in this game because Port Berry's offense uh, gets cranked up. And there they go to the left side. Little clothesline action right there by Oki Woods. He's going to try to stop Port Berry anyway. Well, the Cubs had trouble stopping the Devils tonight. Nice run from Will Davis. He cuts in and out and moves his way down to the 20-yard line on their way to a 34-21 victory. Port Berry beats you high. So the Cubs struggled in the Jamboree. That's one thing that holds over to the start of the regular season. They lose tonight. They lose pretty convincingly on their home field. Big game down there in two eggs, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. You high came in this game ranked sixth. Port Berry ranked seventh. So you can see some changes in That's there. And you know, you go back to Glen right. Oaks. They're ranked second in the state. They are they're gonna be a team <laughs> to contend with. We got a lot more contenders, lots more highlights and plenty more scores when we come back with Sports Line Friday night. So stay with us. Saw a big win uh, for Kentwood against Jules Sumner. Both teams up there in Kentwood. Big game tonight. Now we'll head down to Amy Plaquemine. The Plaquemine Devils were one of the smallest Class 4A schools in the state last year. And now, thanks to realignment, they're one of the largest 3A schools in the state. Tonight, the Devils welcomed a strong contender from the Class 2A ranks, Coach Donald Courier and the A Meet Warriors. We'll take you out. There's Coach C.J. Alexander football. getting his guys all fired up. He's not fired up. Huh? Oh, not at all. The second quarter now. Amy up 7-6. This is number 22 for Amy Allen. Richard, seven-yard touchdown run. Scores now 12-6. Then you see Richard with a two-point conversion and make it 14-6 at this point. Still in the second quarter, this is Plaquemine quarterback number one, Kevin Mitchell. He is going to go very deep to number 27, Shedrick Grant. The ball almost brought down Rain with it. A 30-yard gain there at that point. You bet he's all pumped up after that catch. Now to end the first half, though. Plaquemine trying to get in the score, but he's stopped there with a tackle by number four. We'll take it to the final score, and you see that A meet and a tough one against Plaquemine. The Warriors come out the winner, 21 to 15. Andre. Well, tonight in Baker, the Buffaloes officially started a new era under their new head coach, Joe Mook. Mook, a very familiar name in sports circles in this area. The Buffaloes hosting Bill Burke and the Zachary Broncos, and the name of this game tonight wound up being defense. Take you to the highlights now of this one. And the Baker band in the stands uh, pumping up early before the game. Chuck Grimes gets the pitch, goes 20 yards for Baker in all red. He breaks a nice tackle there and almost stays on his feet. Does not manage to, though, but Baker still has the ball. They're still trying to move with it. We're in the paper. <laughs> Well, it's a, it's a slow-moving game at this point. Zachary with the ball, fumble. Baker looks for it. They come up with it. Yeah, they didn't whistle a dead yet, and Baker has the ball. They're trying to make something happen again. Kelton Stewart to Jamar McNeely, drops the ball. Jamar, you'll get those a little bit later on in the season. Fans were upset about that one. Still nothing to nothing in this game. The fans may be getting restless because they wanted some offense to happen, but uh, hey, these guys are trying. There's a good run from Zachary's Elise Parker, 10-yard gain. These uh, girls and guys having fun anyway. Kelton Stewart and Baker with the ball a little bit later. Quarterback keeper and a 10-yard game. You see how it was daylight when this thing began. It's night still, and it's still nothing to nothing. But somebody did finally score. And the final, Baker 12, Zachary 6. So it was defense most of the way until late in the contest. 
and both teams explode for three touchdowns. Baker gets two of those and gets the victory tonight. Also this evening, Hammond at Acadiana. Acadiana rolls 14 to nothing. Good defense there. Talk about rolling. Karen Crow 59, Higgins 18. That's a final. We'll also come over Jennerette 34 to 20 and some other action tonight. Some other scores for you. Northside and Crowley. This game is a halftime score. The reason, they uh, they blew a transformer. There was so much action in the first half, they blew a transformer, so they're just getting under, trying to get underway the second half. That's a halftime score. That happens occasionally. That's right. Opelousa over Lafayette, 16-6. to six. And also this evening, Abbeville final, 21 to nothing over Kaplan. Eunice beats Bill Platt, 20 to 12. Let's go to some other action now. This year, the Estruma Indians have moved up to Class 5A, but last night at Olympia Stadium, the Indians continued their rivalry with one of their former competitors down in 4A, the Capital Lions. Big game last night at the stadium. We'll take you to the highlights and the band getting at it early on. The drum corps getting pumped up. They know it's a big game. This is first quarter, and for Estruma, number 19, the quarterback, Lionel Hayes, to Robert Robertson, the 12-yard pass. Robert looking for a little appreciation after that pass. Score is 6-0 at this point. Then for Estruma, up 14-12. Lionel Hayes, he's going to be intercepted here by Capitals' Calvin Sampson. And Sampson's going to get a nice return. You see, he'll return for 30 yards before he's finally bumped out of bounds. Later on now, this is for Capital. Quentin Williams, a three-yard touchdown run. The point after was good. We'll show you the final score from last night as a Capital takes that victory over a Struman. The Indians fall 19-14. Other scores from last night, Victor, John Curtis, a huge game down in New Orleans, well, beating St. Aug, a couple of uh, powers in New Orleans, and of course the state 30-13 to in the final. Notre Dame of Crowley beats Vermilion Catholic 7-6. to Also last night, Buras 15, St. John of Plaquemine 14, and Central Catholic put it on Gainus 53-7. To seven last night. Big scoring in that one. Big scoring. I tell you, that was a big game down in New Orleans. They played a Tad Gormley. Big game. Big crowd there. also on hand. Up ahead, we still have Assumption and Donaldsonville. That game this evening, plus uh, more scores and highlights coming your way as Sports Lines Friday night continues. A 50% off frame sale. Now at iMasters. A 50% off sale on all frames. Thousands of styles. All the designer names. Get your new glasses and save during iMasters 50% off frame sale. I have a lot of customers now watching the prices. They check the beans. They check the cereals and all that kind of stuff. And they've told me that we are the low price leader. Recently, we checked the competitors' prices on a number of items. We compared price for price at Winn-Dixie and Superbread. We also compared our prices to the real Superstore. The results? Winn-Dixie was up to 26% lower than the competition. We're not going to be beat on prices. We're going to have the lowest prices. Every day. We don't need to shop around because no one has lower prices than Silo. Like the Sony 8mm camcorder for $569.99. Silo will beat any price guaranteed. America's Paint Store, from color matching to custom paints. America's Paint Store, more choices than any other store. America's Paint Store, Home Depot, nobody beats our prices guaranteed. On Minwax Wood Finish, Minwax turns ordinary wood into extraordinary, even pine into cherry. Minwax makes and keeps wood beautiful. America's Paint Store, with paint experts you can trust. Home Depot, where low prices are just the beginning. All-Star Ford Lincoln Mercury in Gonzales is clearing out the 93s. Get compact luxury in the Mercury Tracer, Wagon, or Notchback, loaded with extras, All-Star price 10 to 95 Drive the deal of the century, town car. No down payment, only $5.45 per month. Five Defending champs in 4A, Hanville now up in 5A. Big win tonight down there for Hanville. Some other action back here in Baton Rouge. Out at Episcopal tonight, the Knights welcoming the Warriors from Bishop Sullivan for their season open. We'll take you out for this action. This was 42-0 at halftime. Andre out at Episcopal. They were absolutely mm. rolling out here. This is going to be Ryan Sheridan, Bishop Sullivan. He will score their first score from the four-yard line. The extra point was blocked. That makes it 42-6. to 6. 
at this point. Now in the fourth quarter, everybody kind of taking it easy, especially 42 nothing at halftime. This is Troy <laughs> Donaldson make a 54 yard pass as he rolls out to the left and unloads. That's tough to do for a righty rolling to the left, but it would be the, it would be caught by number 84, Corky Perez. He would get down to the Episcopal's 13 yard line, and then number 31, Ryan Sheridan. Sheridan went ahead and scored their first touchdown. Wow. Sheridan would score this time. He would score from the three yard line. He would punch it on in there, get them all in the gate. The extra point was good. But we will show you the final score. The Episcopal did all of their hard work in the first half, and they win 42 to 13. Also tonight, down at the pit, Santa Ma and Woodlawn, a big game down there. The Gators come away with a 2013 win. Other scores this evening, HLB and Homa beating Franklin 13 to eight, some tough defense in that one. Cecilia 26, St. Martinville 13 in high school football. It was Brobridge 28, Jennings nothing in the Acadiana area. Erath 28, Central Catholic of New Iberia 13. Also Patterson over Morgan City by 20, 27 to seven. Oberlin over Mamou 41, zip. But that's big, what big shut out there. We got some more highlights to show you right now. They're down in Donaldsonville. Coach Jimmy Dykes and his Tigers enter a new area uh, era of their own this year. They've uh, entered a season without the man who ran the ball so well last year, Night Train Lionel Nicholas. Now the Tigers are turning to quarterback Daryl Comrie for their leadership, and they were hosting Assumption tonight, and of course Assumption and their All-State running back Donnie Bozeman. <laughs> well, they're just trying to get things squared away before the start of this one. Donaldsonville with the ball. Dykes and Anthony Carter. The long game for Carter. Nice job for AC in a 12-7 game at this point. Donaldsonville was leading a little bit later. Carter goes into the end zone for the touchdown. That makes it 18-7. Then Assumption with the ball. Neil Ackman. Seven-yard run. <laughs> he walked in. I have never seen a play that uh, Confidence. untested, perhaps, or uncontested. That made it 18 to 15. A little later, Donaldsonville gets another touchdown. Alan Cole winds up with the catch, 26 to 15. They led uh, by 11, and Assumption comes back to get another score and two-point conversion. But Di Donaldsonville wins a 26 to 23. That was an amazing play. Sure was. He walked in. It's compass. Now, you know, <laughs> on most sports shows, that would be all they have. But not here on Sports Time Friday Night. We've still got more highlights and Believe scores not. for you. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Now, do you know what time it is? Yeah, Rudy. It's countdown, the kickoff time. It's time for summer sale down at Grave Chevy City, and we're discounting everything. That's right, folks. Bobby is discounting everything. With the purchase of any new, used car, truck, or van, we'll send you to see the New Orleans thing. We are the competition. Grave Chevy City, G.O. A 50% off sale. Dummies who've left on WAFB Channel 9. Good evening. This is news break from your 24 hour news channel. A prominent Livingston Parish Methodist minister was killed this afternoon in a head on collision near Walker. He was 72 year old Monroe Wilkes, former director of the United Methodist camp on Greenville Springs Road. Two prisoners with a makeshift knife tried to escape from the New Orleans court building today. They stabbed a deputy and two attorneys. WFB News has learned that season ticket sales are down 22% from LSU's last winning season. Annual cost to the sports program, $1.5 million a year. More news later. That's a rivalry over in the West. Kinder and Elton uh, hooking up tonight, 28-20 the final. Another school starting a new era tonight, Southern Lab. You know, Southern Lab, a power for so long. They have struggled the past few years. New head coach Mike Roach uh, in there now and hosting the Clinton Eagles at Mumford Stadium tonight. So Southern's uh, campus was alive somewhat this evening. Some beautiful artwork on the Southern campus also. Red stick on the bluff. And in black, Clinton, 15-yard gain from number 48 for Clinton. And that gives them a first down a little bit later. Clinton looking for something big to happen. It's a completion, but the Southern Lab defense gangs up and uh, does eventually stop them. Mike Roach talking to one of his uh, players a little bit later. Lab with the ball. James Thomas pass is almost intercepted. Looking for a big tight end. Incomplete on that one. Switch possessions. Clinton with the ball. They sweep it right. They pick up a few yards. 
This was pretty much a muscle game at this point. Clinton had the lead. They were in somewhat control. They get a touchdown there, and Clinton goes on to win 26 to 12. The final score is Clinton beats Southern Lab, but Lab puts up a fight, and that's very good to see tonight against Clinton. At the top of the program, we told you about the bombshell dropped on West Feliciana by Glen Oaks, 42 zip. Uh, West Feliciana expected to contend for the 7-3A title along with Port Allen. Tonight, Coach Gary Atkins and his Pelicans were playing host to the Raiders from Northwest High School. From Opelousas, and look at the shot here with the crop duster and the sunset. Perfect setting for football. Why not? Crop yeah. duster trying, trying to get a good view of the game. This is Ira Lewis. He'll be intercepted by Dexter Griffin, number 12. And Port Allen, Griffin for Port Allen, he's going to go, and he's going to go. This is going to be a while, folks. He's heading all the way down to the other end of the field to for the, the touchdown. Field. That's right. He's going to go find that crop duster <laughs> for the touchdown. Problem was, it was called back oh. for a penalty on the return, so Port Allen did there. It is right there with the clip. Mm. There was no, no score there. Later on, now, this is for Port Allen. Tony Moranto on the keep. Nice 10-yard run here. Getting some yardage for him. Number three, the running back, Jerome Peterson, is going to step up now. He will get the pitch. He'll come right side, right towards our camera. Nice juke move there. He will take off down the sidelines. 30 yards later, he's heading out to the cane field. He'd get the <laughs> score for the touchdown there on the nice run. Then number eight, Charles Williams with the two-point conversion. Eight zip at that point. We'll show you the final score from out at Port Allen. And Port Allen mm -hmm. in a roll. That should be Northwest, not Northeast. Don't, we don't want to get those two confused. Northeast won earlier. Port Allen, though, a big winner tonight. 41 nothing. That's right. Port Allen, they told us they were going to be great this year. Tough After team. one game, Gary we won it up. That's not bad. Westlake beating Sam Houston in games in the western area of the state, 24 to 10. It was Church Point, 20, uh, 24, Rain 7. Venton, 28, Iota 7. Also, South Carolina beating, uh, beating Quincy, rather, 36 to 12. And St. Louis over Turling's Catholic, 27 to 8. High school football. The first week of regular season is in the can. It's over. Second week is uh, going to be here before you know it. We've had fun being here tonight, though. We sure did. And we will be here next Friday night, same time, 1035, with lots more highlights and scores. Until then, have a great week, and we'll see you then. All right. See you later.